And then people come down that too, well, why, why would you do bodybuilding to be looked at? I didn't do it to become a pro bodybuilder or to get into bodybuilding. I'm just a guy that loves going to the gym. I love to train. Lee Priest, Lee Priest walking around 5'4", 250 pounds, was a freak. Freakiest bodybuilder I've ever seen in person that was Lee Priest at the time. Because he was like 20, bro, and he was insane big. He was crazy big. Like, I'd never seen anything like it. The guy couldn't even walk, he was so big. And I'm saying, this kid is my, is like basically my age, you know? And he was unbelievably big. I, I couldn't, I'd never seen anything like that in my entire life. He was a walking monster. You guys will never believe he was the freakiest bodybuilder that I have ever seen in my life. And had the most freakiest arms in the world. like a whole different person off season. He was just big. The priests would get really big, but they always came in shape, you know, and I think that's just a lot, of very, the way their body functions. You know, you, he, he's very, his receptors, I mean, he takes a little bit of gear and wow. It's, and everybody always claims that, but definitely he was gifted in that division. Just eat, you know, people always get worried about the off-season, they're like, I don't want to put too much fat on or too much of this on, but the off-season's off-season. You know, if you want to put extra muscle on, I used to just eat what I wanted and just bust my ass in the gym every day. I just ate a ton of food. Well, it was insane. He looked like, he looked a little monster. Those are the freakiest guys I've ever seen that just make your eyes pop out. Sometimes people think they got to change their diet or this and that to make them look that little bit harder, but you know, 
throws the body out of whack because it's not used to whatever you're doing to change it so abruptly. So, you know, if you look good, like, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm just going to stick to doing what I'm doing and hopefully it's good enough. Yeah, I like it. You know, I train at home or I train at the gym occasionally as well. So it's like, you know, home's nice and quiet. No one bothers you. You can get in, get out and do what you got to do. Sort of. I like it though. I've always liked the smaller gyms and stuff. I don't really need a lot of machines. I like a lot of basics. But, you know, it's never, you know, it's nice and quiet. And like I said, I can just focus. No crazy music going on. So it's just, I don't know, nice and peaceful.